because, uh, yeah, podcast time. Hi, everybody. Hey, we're going to do an intro today because fuck it. We're the yeah, Ungodly Geeks. I mean, we got to do an intro sometime, right? Uh, Eventually. Yeah. We're going to do mean, it. We're going to do it uh, early. This time. We're going we're gonna to do an actual <laughs> intro and not just ramble for five minutes and they go, oh, yeah. Hi, I'm Joe. Yeah. Five, 20 minutes. <laughs> I think we actually did do that one time where we were 20 minutes into the episode. And I looked and said, we should probably do it. I swear to God, it was last week. <laughs> no, we weren't quite that far into it. I mean, unless you want to include oh, okay. the off-air content that we produced, then yes, we were like That's true. 10 or 12 minutes in. Sometimes I have no idea when the actual podcast has started and <laughs> we're just talking bullshit beforehand. <laughs> I, like, I like doing it that way, though, because it feels more authentic, you know. So anyway, on yeah. to the intro. Hi, I'm Joe. I'm Luke. And we are the Ungodly Geeks. We get together and we talk about shit. So, you know, let's talk about shit. <laughs> Not going to lie, totally uh, almost blanked on what I was supposed to say there. <laughs> like, oh, uh, what's my, re- oh yeah. Uh, what's my name? I don't remember. Is it, is it <laughs> Billy? <laughs> it's Ron, right? Um, oh. <laughs> let's see here. Um, I, I'm going to uh, go ahead. I'm, I'm going to take I'm a gonna, sip of my tea. I'm going to open this up right here. Um, okay. Uh, because, you know, I, I one thing I wanted to try to do was introduce sort of a bit, not really a bit, but just I wanted to talk about the stupid news story of the week. And yeah. I found this very early on in uh, in the week here before we started recording. Um, and I did not find it on our Florida man. I actually found it, I think, on our Not the Onion. A, uh, oh, God. a Florida man stole summer. more than $30,000 in rare coins and uh, cashed them in at basically a coin star machine. At various different coin star machines around the thing. They were um, presidential quarters, I believe. Like, they're valued at around a grand a pop. And uh, Rare presidential quarters. I yeah. I think it sounds like one of those where, where you'd see in uh, afternoon TV infomercials where you'd get, like, this rare, these sets of rare presidential coins, blah, blah, blah. But this sounds like an actual, legit, rare presidential coins where I think most of those infomercials, that shit ends up being almost valueless. Um, let me see. Yeah, these were commemorative presidential dollars. I'm sorry. We're not quarters. They were dollars. dollars. Okay. Yeah, so they were, um... Well, I mean, if they're dollars, then whatever. It's a nine... It's only $999. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, $999.75. <laughs> um... <laughs> According to uh, according to Michael Johnson, who was the um, who was uh, I guess the guy that this fellow robbed, he easily had thirty three thousand dollars worth of these coins. Um, he stole rare coins and other items valued at three hundred fifty grand from the guy's office. But it's like he he had thirty three thousand dollars of mm-hmm. rare presidential dollar coins, and he dumped them into a coin star to get a couple twelve packs of beer. Oh my God, what? It's yeah, just, it's so it. frustrating. Not only, but you had dollar coins. Why use a coin star in the first goddamn place? Yeah, is it really so difficult to just hand, like, the cashier, what, seven or eight dollar coin? I don't know, how much is a six pack of beer in Florida? You know, like, it can't be I'm that sh- much, right? I'm sure he wasn't, but I mean, maybe, maybe he was like, oh, I'm going to ball out. And went for, like, the most expensive fucking beer he could get. <laughs> but something tells me he was fucking buying Natty Light. Or Bud Light or some shit beer. Some piss beer, like, what, PBR Mm. or something like that. Like, ugh. Oh, yeah, right? Like, I don't even like beer, but I'll drink, like, some beers. I I will not touch PBR for... No. No. The only reason to use that shit is, like, if you're playing uh, beer pong or something where you're just going through. You're just guzzling it and you're not drinking it. Like, like, dude, I I can't do it. Like, Like, I would rather suck five dicks in a row then drink pbr <laughs> i wouldn't go that far but yeah i'm definitely not drinking pbr anytime soon uh i remember like even the last times i can remember playing uh beer pong we didn't drink out of the cups it was just it was more for the fun of the game than you know getting smashed so you know you made it in the cup we'd take a drink of our own drink even though that we're doing that all anyway so <laughs> i mean that's when you it just was get really just there to have fun that's when you just get water at that point because you're just wasting money buying. Yeah. Well, PBR. I mean, we're drinking. The, the cups are the cups are had water in them, just for the uh, the a little bit. I don't know if that makes a difference when you're tossing, but I, I, I guess they either. bounce out if you don't have any liquid in there. I mean, but, uh, that yeah, makes we were sense. just drinking our drinks. It's kind of how physics works. So, yeah, 
I mean, in that case, you could get more fucked up if you're drinking like a mixed drink or something like that. But I, I don't remember what I was drinking at the time. I think it was just beer. Yeah. Or, you know, just face say fuck it and go hardcore and fill them all up in, uh, in with like vodka or something. Like, yeah. You know, do a Russian, <laughs> Russian beer pong. <laughs> you're dead halfway through. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, you're Russians. falling over right on your face. They're just all oh, laughing at you because they're fine. Proper food. Yes. Yes. Drain through bread. <laughs> <laughs> and then you eat the bread. Of course. You gotta have a meal. <laughs> uh, it's oh, all beets man. and toilet paper over there and you gotta wait in line. So, uh, all right. So we got some things we're going to talk about. Oh, one thing I do want to throw in there real quick. Uh, after we talked about it last week and I, you know, talked about seeing uh, Alita Battle Angel. Uh, yeah. I don't know. I know I mentioned in, in the States, the movie didn't do well. Um, not a lot of people saw it. Critically, I think it was average. But right now, it's become kind of a um, unexpected hit overseas. So in China, it is absolutely killing it. Well, I mean, yeah. like yeah, Which doesn't I, surprise me too much. Not at all. I mean, especially with well, you know, how you and uh, some others have told me that it's basically a faithful representation of the anime so i'm sure anywhere yeah. where the anime would be popular you know the elite of battle angel is going to be popular too what's the movie what's is rather thinking about it though i mean like i said i i talked a lot about the action scenes and how much i enjoyed them uh it's not a huge focus of the movie so it's kind of interesting that they latched on to this maybe it's because it was a lot of digital i don't know um but typically you get like the transformers movies always make a bank in china because they're like 85% action. Yeah. Big yeah. explosions yeah. and dumb shit like that. Like yeah. things and that keep explosions. you interested and going. And explosions translate really well. Story doesn't always translate well. Uh, so I wonder if Alita is getting the benefit of this story actually translating well to the Chinese audience. And if that's the case, that's even more awesome. Right. Uh, and now there's actually hopes for a sequel, which is cool because, like I said, the ending is different from the anime. Um, where it feels like there can be something afterwards. Right. Uh, right. It feels like it is going towards that. And I found out I didn't even realize until talking to some of the guys in our Discord. Um, and I mean, I should have known it because every almost every anime is based off a of manga. There is a manga and it continues the story and goes and goes like fucking buck wild with the story. But I looked into that a little bit and was like, oh, OK, yeah, I totally want to see this fucking take my money. Yes. Take Give my money sequel. now. Let the the J uh that studio make another one. I fucking hundred percent down. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> oh man. So what were you saying? Uh, you've got other stuff. Yeah, we got some other things. You know, we're gonna touch on a bit. Um, one thing I found really kind of funny. Uh, with all this anti-vax BS going around and stuff, and mm -hmm. um, Plague Inc. Uh, someone started a change.org petition to get them to add anti-vaxxers as a buff in the game. Mm -hmm. Um. And I think the goal, the original goal was like, what, 25,000 signatures or whatever. And uh, pan Endemic, the developers behind it, got wind of it and said, if it gets 10,000, we'll do it. That's and uh, I think the last time I was able to check it, last time I paid any attention to it, it had like over 16,000. So it, it totally got more than enough um, <laughs> to get the, yeah. for them to add it. And they just totally add it. And it's, it's kind of funny because it's, apparently it's already in the game. Um, well, I don't know. What I saw is uh, we talked about. I saw a um, an image somebody had posted that said um, protesters had destroyed the miracle cure, <laughs> right? And basically doomed the planet to extinction. So I don't know if because that game on Steam at least has lots and lots of mods. Like I, I play it with a lot of mods, and you basically have people have created their own uh, diseases and everything. Right, right. Um, there was uh, a version of it that was made and they add they add stuff to the game themselves where you could play um the planet of the apes virus <laughs> and that could cool. spread yeah and they change where normally it's like you you select symptoms and things with the points you earn um in that case some of the sim quote-unquote symptoms were like the apes learning to use firearms faster oh, so that nice. they could defend themselves and survive and, <laughs> that's, that's and it was amazing and it's awesome. I, it's if, if nobody's played that game, Plague Inc. Evolved, one hundred percent, pick it up. Yep, 
it um, is a fucking great game and the mods like just i just pulled the page up one of them <laughs> is flex seal family of products <laughs> <laughs> what Yep. Play as Flex, Flex Seal Products, the company behind the Flex Seal family of products. Experience the creation of the world's greatest invention. Imagine what you could do with the power of Flex, power of flex tape. All right. <laughs> so I, I went ahead and I pulled up the uh, the petition on change.org. And I'm not going to pose yeah. it because there's no need to. It it totally has more than enough signatures. Because uh, yeah. they, they said it only needs 20,000 or 10,000. Um, as of right this second, uh, it has 22,265. Mm-hmm. So more than enough for them to add it. So uh, I get uh, they they tweeted about it, saying that um, <clears throat> Endemic said, uh, "All right, all right, you spoke, we listened." Nuri's very happy to hear that we're going to start figuring out anti vaxxers soon. He's dying to try and get inside their heads. So <laughs> yeah, they they That's totally great. got it. Um, and that that screenshot uh, that they have in the tweet it was from uh, the twenty sixth of February. It uh-huh. had ten thousand six hundred ninety eight signatures at that point. And the next goal was fifteen thousand, so now they're at over twenty two thousand. So they're totally they're nice. totally adding it, and that's I find that really funny um, mm-hmm. because anti vax are they're, they're stupid people. Um, Anything mocking their their stupidity, I support. Yep, yeah, absolutely. Um, um, especially there's no when excuse it, for it anymore. Yeah, they're, especially they're when it's legitimately a plague on the human race. You know, the funny thing is, I was ranting to a friend of mine um, about that not too long ago. And mm-hmm. uh, I'm going to preface this by saying I don't shame anyone who uses their body to make money. You know, like you're a sex worker or if you're a cam girl or, you're, you know, you're, you're posing in pictures. You know, you're showing off your tits or whatever. I don't – I'm not shaming you for that. But the idea that there are so many of these people who have rallied around a woman who has an anecdotal story that does not prove her point, does not prove her case, whose only claim to fame was showing her fake tits in a magazine is mind-boggling to me. You Wait, know, who are you talking about? Janie McCarthy. She's the one that started this anti-vax movement, right? And her oh, only well, real claim to fame. It. Well, yeah, she 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 got it out there she, though. She she made it. More she became mainstream. the celebrity. She's like the celebrity boost to it. Yeah. The anti-vax movement started all the way back with that. Like we said, we talked a little bit the last time we brought this up. That asshole, fucking piece of shit doctor who did a he was did a quote unquote research where he only had 12 case studies he lied about what he did he manipulated the results and then he released this paper that said um vaccines cause like uh, uh cause autism here's right. the here's my paper yeah. on it. and then i think and, i think jenny mccarthy though is really what pushed it into the mainstream when she picked that up and started running with it and had that anecdote oh my son is autistic not realizing that uh Autism it's, is genetic, not yeah. caused by something you can inject to kill. It's you know, a birth the, defect. It's a birth it's, defect. Yeah, it, it's gen, it's a genetic defect. It happens yeah. before birth. It happens before all you know, any of that. Uh, something getting your shots at two or whatever is not going to make the kid autistic later in life. By that yeah. point, the kid will have already been autistic. You know, like that's how it works. It, it's, it, it, it's it's bothersome. Crazy. Yeah. And a, a big part of it, it's not just her, but I think uh, the internet in general, and it's the same thing. Like we're we're dealing with something that nobody knew how to use, and the internet has become this thing that anything, any idea you have, you put it out there on the internet. Someone yeah, else has audience. it. You yeah. find each other. And you that, create a group. You got a group. You create the fucking. You got, you got an audience. Cyclone. Yeah, yeah and then you, you get in your own circle jerk, and it's the same thing with flat Earth. We wouldn't be talking about fucking flat earthers if it wasn't for this vocal minority. Um, it's just unfortunately that doesn't – that hurts in you know a scientific way. The anti-vaxxers actually fucking hurt. And it, it, it gave them even more of a push and now we see this shit showing up. Yeah, it, 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 it's, it just bothers them to me that – all yeah. these, these, we have all this evidence, mountains and mountains of truth and facts and research stuff and confirmed stuff, not theories, not ideas, but actual hard facts that we have confirmed over and over and over again. And all of that goes out of the window because some chick with big fake tits said her son got autism from vaccines and then she cites this study that has been discredited where the person who who uh, originally confirmed did the study has been you know de-licensed to practice medicine and 
do any sort of official research like this and it's all out the fucking window because yeah you know this 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 chick did it and we got these these mommy blogs that go around we got these anti-vax facebook groups it's like and then also they get a push from all the conspiracy theorist bullshit that you know and for years uh, i remember hearing like oh don't give blood they'll put a, a fucking microchip inside of you like they, they that was a what was it it was like the man sh- somebody did that as a bit as a huge joke where they went to go donate blood and the whole time they're like so when do you put the mi- microchip in <laughs> people giving blood are like uh what 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 are you talking about like he was like, the, "You're gonna put the microchip in." I'm watching you. I'm like, <laughs> "Amazing, it's, amazing!" It's this fucking crazy. Just and it doesn't help that we. It kind of comes and goes where we have this um, rise of and it and it's always coming and going. It yeah. happened in the '90s. It's happening. It's happening recently again. We have this rise of holistic and nat- quote unquote naturalistic medicines and the people who want to use oils instead of giving their kids cancer treatment and fucking surprise your kid's dead at 13 or 12 because you didn't go and get him cancer treatment and this crazy shit comes up and people start doing it doing it and then finally hopefully soon it'll go back down unfortunately i i i I, I kind of lay a little bit of the blame on the internet where it just spreads the misinformation even harder. So you have these fucking people and tons of people are willing to make a fucking buck off of it the moment they can. Cause it's oh, yeah. the easiest oh, yeah. scheme in the goddamn world. I mean, yeah, dude, up. if I can sit there and I can just say, say fuck it and do something really stupid, like take yep. grass clippings, grind them down to a fine powder, put them in a fucking pill and say, Hey, this pill will heal your warts or whatever and sell it for what five bucks a pill. It's like, yeah. oh, it's not, it's, it's not, not, not F, uh, FDA approved, but it's a, um, it's a holistic it? natural it's cure, holistic natural. Yeah. Whatever they, they can't, we're not going to say it cures this, but it's going to do things for your, you know, leukemia or your You're, fucking back pain or whatever. Yeah. It's like, the you know, same thing is coming up with these fuckers. Um, this this shit pisses me off so much because I grew up, um, and I I don't obviously I don't have a hold anything against my father, but my dad I've said before he was a chiropractor, yeah. and I grew up hearing about this stuff. I yeah. grew up where I never I never really went to the doctor. Um, my dad wasn't he wasn't always he couldn't be against medicine and doctors and things because my mother she had. She was severely diabetic. She was constantly in the hospital and things. But when it came to outside of that, he was the kind of person who would say, um, chi- like medicine, la- like avoid medicine as much as possible. So go take this colloidal silver. Oh, what is it? Oh, it's this charged water with uh, colloidal fucking energy in it or some bullshit. And then that'll get rid of your colds and your flus and your keep your immune system strong. You oh, here, f- why don't you take this drink that's got cayenne pepper and B vitamins and all a bunch of other bullshit in it. Drink this every day. No, you know what? My dad was dead at 55. Right. Didn't help it. all you know, that bullshit. Um, I mean, chiropractor, a, f- a chiropractor isn't a doctor either though. Like that, that's been, that's something new that's, that's popped up fairly recently that did they it, actually, cause he, I mean, he had a doctorate. He was a doctor. Right, but um, but uh, it, they're like, not a. It's not a medical degree. It's not a medical degree like like pediatrician would be or general practitioner stuff like that. Where it's like, yeah. you know, yeah, like like you dentist. Dentist is a medical degree, of course. Yeah. Um, but yeah, uh, chiropractor is no longer considered a medical degree, which is I, I think kind of good. Um, which I don't even think it was ever considered medical. I mean, maybe it, it ten like uh, sort of. The thing with chiropractic is it's it's a chiropractic itself isn't bad it's when they take it to that level of oh if you get chiropractic you know have your spine aligned and all of this stuff and that will make your immune system stronger and you'll never get sick that's right. when it's like no you need to take a step back yeah seriously yeah um but yeah it's, and that's it's, it's not it's not a thing anymore practice. yeah it's that's, not a thing anymore that's, yeah that's where that's my dad's generation of chiropractic where he came from where that was like uh, chiropractic where they would call a chiropractor in when someone was sick in bed and instead of like a doctor all right so like let's wind this down because we're getting crazy. way the fuck off topic here <laughs> what i still will say real quick just to promote somebody else um if you ever are interested in hearing about like crazy medical shit that we used to do in the past 
that surprise, surprise, somebody pop, pulls out and decides to make a buck off nowadays, check out the podcast uh, Sawbones. Sawbones. They, yeah, they do medical history. And a lot of times there's shit that like we're talking um, – fucking pre-romans were like oh if you rub honey on your fucking boils and burn it with ashes and then you know bleed it oh that'll cure you and then again <laughs> oh now God, some yeah. holistic some holistic cunt is sitting there going oh let me just rub some fucking honey and b vitamins and or not b vitamins like uh fucking cherry juice on your uh leg and oh there you go we've cured your sciatica you know what the funny thing is is like uh, before we close this out, um, yeah. essential oils are not something you ever want to apply to your bare skin without like a carrier oil to dilute it because yeah. you know what it does? It fucking burns your skin off. All right? Yes. Yeah. And to um, to go ahead and, and close this little segment out before we get so far off topic, we have no fucking yeah. clue where we are. Um, I'm going to close it out with a Tim, a Tim Minchin quote. You know what they call alternative medicine that's been proved to work? Medicine. Medicine. <laughs> That's it. That's all there is to it. Yep. It's if it if it works, it's just medicine. If yeah. it doesn't work, it's alternative medicine. You see what's going on here? So yeah. uh, let's go ahead Not and move on. It, yeah, let's move on, Luke, before you go off into a rampage again. God damn, my motherfucker! I, I just ran cocksucking assholes. Um, that stuff just oh my god. So some news we, we I I uh, read over the week uh, is that Will Smith's not going to be in the Suicide Squad, Squad sequel that's being uh, directed and whatever by James Gunn. Yeah, written and directed by James Gunn. Yeah. And he's backed out. Um, I did read that it was like a, a quote unquote mutual, but yeah. it was scheduling issues, mm -hmm. which is funny. I, so we have obviously we talk about we didn't like that movie. No, I think that movie was shit. Hated, hated from Suicide Squad. It was one of those like, things I, that I enjoyed in the moment. Kind of like with uh, several movies we've seen over the last year or so, where at the moment it's like, okay, this isn't bad. And then you get to that point where everything, every little bit of enjoyment and fun you've been having just. I, for me, it wasn't even that. Like Venom, I can give that. It, it was, you know, stupid fun for a lot of that movie. Yeah. Suicide Until the very squad. end. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. The CGI cluster fucking nut. Oh, yeah, the very end where it was just the two symbiotes just fucking going crazy, and it was Tom uh, Hardy fighting an Indian. Yeah, 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 we, won't even, dude. we yeah. don't need to go into it. Whatever again. the it's hell just, he – I don't know. I don't it's care. It's CGI ejaculate is what that was. You know what? Yeah, but, that's pretty – like it reminds me I, – I, I got a screen – I got a picture somewhere, and it's a naked anime <laughs> dude with – Come coming out of his fucking dick and he's like bending it like he would in Avatar The Last Airbender. And that's what it reminds me of. It's a, it's a cum bender. That's a <laughs> <laughs> don't ask. He's a I, semen bender. It's a semen bender. I don't know where I found this screenshot. I just found it and I'm like, why do Save I have in a this? a special folder. <laughs> it's saved in my downloads folder. I don't fucking know, man. That, oh God, that reminds, I shouldn't get off on this tangent, but that reminds me there was this. There was a, a hentai back in the day that they were ninjas, but everything was sexual based. Oh, so um, like, um, le, uh, yes, I am familiar with this. Uh, it's not the blue girl, but that's what's coming to mind. Right, that does what that is what comes to mind. Blue anyway, I don't remember. Okay, I just, just remember all their attacks were sexual based, and it was the funniest goddamn shit in the world. <laughs> uh, okay, it was so great. Crushing <laughs> crusted dude's head. With her. Vagina. <laughs> All right, so um, if that name yeah, comes Suicide to you, Squad. If that name comes to you, you got to drop that to me for you know scientific research. I will. If I could, I'd have to look way in the way back. Uh, man, I, I'll remember it at some point. But um, fucking yeah, with him leaving Suicide Squad, I kind of see that as a big blow. I yeah, that movie sure. was terrible, but at least Will Smith was kind of a character. I mean, uh, if there was, he was anyone, very generic. he was very bland, very generic. Yeah. Um, if there if there was any character though who had any sort of development, it might have been him. Um, yeah, like because he was, Harley he wasn't was just, even. Eh, eh. None of them seem like bad guys. Like Killer Croc, they fucked up in my opinion. Yeah. he was just a big dude. That's it. They With make scales. a point. They say he eat people, but all he did was swim. Yeah. Um. He fucking didn't do that well. <laughs> Diablo didn't want to hurt anybody. Like it. It was nobody. Margot Robbie as. Harley Quinn 
I liked. Yeah. I think she was one of the better parts of that movie, and she's coming back for it. So I think that's probably their big win. But I'm honestly really surprised that they weren't willing to try and move more to get Will Smith back. Yeah, for though sure. Though he's just not, he's not even a villain really in the movie. No, I mean. He's I, just a generic hitman. He's like a, I, I almost want to say he's an anti-hero, but I'm not sure he would even fit that. That's because... the way they promoted it. Yeah. And it's not. Suicide Squad, yes, they're working for the government, but they're not supposed to be anti-heroes. They're supposed to be villains who are forced to do good things. Less bad things. Not less good bad things. things yeah. Less bad things. Well, they're hold still on. When the government does it, it's not bad. Remember, yeah. it's fine when the government does it. Yeah. You know, it's, it's, it's okay. Like, it's not evil. But that's not what we got from the movie. Yeah, and no, oh my God, the fucking, it was so bad. Yeah. That it was the way they, edit, yeah. I don't want to get into why that movie's bad, but <laughs> I, I'm kind of excited for a James Gunn written Suicide Squad movie. I mean, because he, yeah, given anything James Gunn has done it, I mean, I, I can't speak to all of it, I guess, but all of the recent stuff that he's done, Guardians yeah. and Guardians 2, like they've been phenomenal movies. And I don't think that's Marvel either. Cause you know, kind of like with uh, Thor Ragnarok, there was humor there that I think made the movie significantly more approachable than it would have been if it had just been a generic superhero romp. They let yeah, they let their directors do their thing and definitely did it with Guardians and Thor Ragnarok, like you said, with Taika Waititi. That was all Taika Waititi's humor. Yeah. And that's Every why that it. movie was great. Yes, absolutely. And you see that with the Guardians movies. That's James Gunn's humor. That's his writing style. So you combine that with, and he's willing to go with the crazy stuff like, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm wondering how much he's going to be fighting with Warner Brothers, because I know there's lots of different villains who have been a part of Suicide Squad that are just like you would expect to never see them. Like, I'm, yeah. I, I think I can't remember the dude's name, but there's a fucking giant shark guy that's a Flash villain that was oh, in wow. the TV show. But I can't yeah. remember. I can't. I, I think his name's like Great White or some shit like generic like that. Fucking right. crazy ass giant shark guy. Uh, Orca, who's just a fucking killer, like anthropomorphic killer whale chick. Um, there's a lot of fucking insane characters that I would just love to see put in a movie and su like Suicide Squad and just go absolutely fucking crazy with it. Right. And right. Leave out everything to do with that awful, awful Joker. Just. No, we don't need that. <laughs> hot Topic Joker, man. The Hot Topic Joker. And, like, I don't have anything against Hot Topic, but he was definitely that Hot Topic Joker. That 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 phase of Hot Topic where it was just trendy to be edgy. Yep. And it's like that's exactly what he was. He wasn't he wasn't goth. <laughs> he was he was like punk and awful and a sushi roll i don't know why but was, sushi comes to mind like, when i think of him like i don't it was like what, what, why? he was punk he was like punk anarchy mixed with a uh soundcloud rapper yes he was uh, all in one what's, what's that what's that one rapper that got arrested he had the rainbow hair that's him Oh, um, which one? Uh, that's uh six nine. Yeah, he he's six nine, six six yeah. nine, whatever the fuck his he's, name is. He's that six nine Joker. <laughs> that that's who he is, and he's I awful. I don't care about that 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 dude's music, but I have never had respect for him just by the way he presents and carries himself. So that is one hundred percent this Joker, because I have yeah. no respect for this Joker because of the way he presents and carries himself. I was not at once. Not 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 one time during that movie was I intimidated by Joker. Not no. one time during that that scene was I like, oh wow, Joker's gonna kill that guy. I was like, what the fuck is he doing? This is cringy. This is he awful. Came, he yeah, he came off as cringy. He came off like he fucking had. Uh, I, I mean, and not to use the like meme way of saying it, but fucking he came off like he was autistic, like he. He you know didn't. What? Yeah, it was he, intimidating. It was just fucking. He had no weird. social skills. He came out with that he has yeah. Aspergers or something like that, and was given <laughs> yes. and was and it given wasn't power. Intimidating Aspergers. No, it wasn't. It was like, are you okay? Do you do you need me to get like? Do you have a handler or something? Do you need me to go get them? Like, I don't yes. know what's going on here. And I'm not trying to sit there and like disparage those with disabilities. It's just that's seriously the way he came off. It wasn't. It wasn't intimidating. It wasn't. No scary i i on it i i i really did hope for it i was like you know watching some of those trailers 
And those trailers, you know, admittedly were great, so, some of them. And then, unfortunately, <laughs> the same company cut the fucking movie to shreds. But, like, I was, I wanted him to be good. I was really fingers crossed and no. No, not at all. Never. I don't Please. know. James Gunn might be able to pull it out. Warner it, Brothers. It's... Warner Brothers. Don't fucking do that again. Ever. Please. Yeah. Ever. Don't do it. It's... It, it tells you a lot when the gamers rise up, people aren't using that Joker. They're going back to the Heath Ledger Joker. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that, that does tell you something. That might, be, that might be the people like making fun of them, but <laughs> that's the one they use. Yeah, They no. really should. If you're making fun of that group, you should switch over to the new Joker. It'd be even I, worse. <laughs> yes. You really, you know, I, I think we need to start that. Um, if I had Photoshop skills, I would totally sit there and start editing him in instead because like yeah. Heath Ledger Joker was amazing right like he was seriously the best I, I will say this and I'll never stop seeing these praises he was the best uh, comic book movie Joker that I've ever seen in any Batman movie I, I will always stand by yeah. that you know he was he was he was just the he right owned. amount of crazy. He was just the right amount. He was legitimately intimidating. And honestly, on some level, he was also kind of relatable. So, Weirdly, I don't know. Yeah. It, it, you know, I mean, he is, he could still, because he is that good, is the poster child for that yeah. edgy, edgelordness. Uh, it's just funny that it, it even overshadows the fucking, the current, you know, or not current. Well, I guess current's the best way to put it. The, the fucking re- most recent uh, on screen version mm-hmm. i don't know it's just funny to me i i'm like i said james gunn i think i think he could do something good with it yeah with the script yeah i have faith in him <laughs> i i do i i think he can turn like if they're seriously trying to um you know do that as a, a suicide squad as a franchise or as like a semi regular the movie base and they're trying to build out their their universe now like the way marvel has i think that james gunn can at least help them salvage that part of it um, yeah, at least to some small degree, because man, that movie just makes me angry. <laughs> um, I want to say, I was thinking about it. What's it's it's interesting uh, that they're going ahead with that movie. Um, right now, Warner Brothers has kind of pulled away from any of the connected like universe stuff. Right, uh, right. Even though I saw some stuff talking about a Justice League two, not that long ago, which I went like. If that if that's happening, I'm okay with it. I I hope they correct course and make a good movie. But it seems <laughs> like they're they they're not they don't have anything like that necessarily planned, right. unless they're just going to surprise everybody with it. Um, so we've got Captain Marvel or <laughs> not Captain Marvel. We've got Shazam, right? Uh, Wonder Woman, Aquaman had just come out and it did pretty well. Um, which I, I I think I'm gonna have to rent whenever it becomes available because I do want to watch yeah. it. Yeah, I plan on doing that as well. And then we've got after after that, obviously, Suicide Squad. Uh, it's up in the air. You know, you go back to the all the movies they've talked about. Where is the uh, Birds of Prey movie? Is that still happening? Is there still going to be that Joker Harley Quinn movie with Margot Robbie? Right. Uh, is there going to be uh, like the last I heard? There is going to be that female focused um, villain movie uh-huh. with Margot Robbie and. I, I don't remember who else they said is going to be that. Supposedly, I think it's going to have Batwoman or Batgirl, one of the two, and a, um, fuck, what's her name? Ivy, Poison Ivy. Oh, yeah. But, you know, it, oh, it's... Oh, uh, Gotham City Sirens or uh, something something else? Because I, I, re- I Gotham, do remember... I don't think Gotham City Sirens. Maybe that's what they're calling it. I don't remember. It's the, the f- female. Birds of Prey was like chick heroes and then... Then maybe that is Gotham's. Yeah, I remember. I remember, I remember but, there being a mention of Gotham City Sirens about a year or two ago. Yeah. So I mean, I, I, I know that that I, was there, and we were like, I'm not sure why, but then you know whatever. There's at been this point. so, but DC's had so Warner Brothers has had <clears throat> so many the fucking Nightwing movie, the fucking, uh, and then you know this Batman movie, and then the the non canon, I guess is the best way to put it, the serious joker movie with jake gyllenhaal is that yeah. still coming are we doing that because that movie i i, I want to see that that sounds awesome um what wait, wait. what's about that i don't know anything about that uh, that was the one they announced it like with everything else uh, a couple a year ago or whatever uh and we talked about it uh at least once on the podcast back then um it's i think jake gyllenhaal the guy from um uh night 
uh what was he in he's been donnie darko. He's from a, donnie darko yeah but he's in a ton of different stuff it was he's supposed to play a um origin joker origin mm. where it's going to be more it's like set in reality almost like christopher nolan-esque i guess but it's uh going to be like a gangster crime thing i don't know i'm really i like i think jake gyllenhaal's an amazing actor yeah, he can, and, he, he can do some great stuff. Like, I, I, I definitely think, you know, he's fine. And the Joker's backstory, depending on where you look, there's a lot of different ones. So you could come up with something that's incredibly interesting. Yeah, for sure. Let's see yeah. if it's still that, that on sounds IMDb, neat. actually. Uh, I, actually yeah, yeah, I don't even list it on... I, oh, he's in... Oh, I forgot he's Mysterio. In, he uh In, uh, yeah, in Spider-Man Far From Home. Oh, well, nice. I didn't even know that because uh, I've is it, not wait, been. Is it not even Jake Gyllenhaal? Yeah, you don't watch the trailers. The trailer was fucking great for me. Yeah, no, I, I stay away from trailers because, you know, these days they usually give so much away in trailers. It's like, no, bet. Stop that. You know, so, yeah, I don't I don't uh, I don't mess with trailers anymore mm-hmm. because, you know, I don't oh, want the movie Joaquin to be spoiled. Phoenix. That's why. Joaquin, Joaquin Phoenix. Yeah. OK. Yeah. And they actually I forgot they had a, tr- uh, a teaser for that already. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. Joaquin Phoenix. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, Joaquin, I had the wrong Joaquin Oops. Phoenix, or how, yeah, how, I don't know. He's, he's got a stupid name. It's spelled with a J. Yeah, I, I mean, I'm, <laughs> I don't mean to be a shitty person. I, he's yeah. got a stupid name. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's, it's just it, a uh, name. It doesn't necessarily look like you would expect. It really looks like a crime drama. Oh, that might be kind of nice then. Although I think this teaser's fake. Oh, well. I think it's just got clips mixed with other stuff. Oh, like a fan creation. Type I think it's deal. a fan thing, and then they've mixed in. But I, I might be wrong. I don't know. Yeah. Well, whatever. Yeah, it's this is fucking fake. But um, <laughs> he's uh, they have scenes uh, uh, um, images from development. Yeah. And he looks like a a clown, not nec- not like quite like the Joker. I don't know. I I still Joaquin Phoenix is an awesome actor too. So yeah, yeah. total total great guy. I mean, he has a stupid name, but he's a total great guy. Yeah. <laughs> it's an amazing actor fucking terrible name i hate his name but you know what his he's gonna fucking stand out because of that name oh for sure i mean he has for years and have changed their names yeah uh like nicholas Ooh, cage Robert De Niro on it. is he playing when did Ro- okay he's a talk show host all right That's uh, cool. it is it, from reading the little bit of a description on this yeah um it is going to the i think it was killing joke where they went in like a defined joker origin mm-hmm. where he's a failing stand-up comedian who's just trying to get by he bar- can't you know can't afford rent just got a he's got a young wife and a newborn kid or something like that and yeah. then he ends up working he does starts working for the mob for uh money oh right, and yeah. it's just a small time guy and then stuff happens and he becomes the joker right right and I'm guessing this is probably the, you know, lead up to where he does that. Something happens and then he become um, what he is. I get there's right now there's a Bruce Wayne and an Alfred listed. So I guess we're getting, I don't know, not necessarily Batman in this, but it's giving us everybody from uh, Gotham. Oh, well, that's nice. Yeah. I don't know. I like I haven't been paying much attention to movie news lately. Yeah. Um, but I this is stuff where. These are movies, and I, we've always, you know, we're always talking about comic book movies and shit. That's like my bread and butter. I, I want to see these stories come to life. Yeah, for I sure. Hate I hate when mean, they aren't you good. Sit, you sit there and you read them, or in my case, you watch them on, like, the small screen, because I never grew up with comics. I grew up with mm-hmm. the TV shows instead. And, like, seeing those get that big-time release, it's like, oh, yeah, man, that's freaking awesome. And then you get there and you get through it, and it's like, that was fucking terrible so hugely disappointing so I, I yeah man like i'm down i'm down to see some of this stuff come to life but yeah well you know when it's bad it's like well fuck it's just amazing immensely disappointing when it's yeah, bad it, when it's bad it's really bad you know uh because they set these high expectations for us and you know it, it's not our fault that these things are bad and it, it just extends to the game industry too it's a yeah you know, the game industry and these movies, they set these impossibly high standards and then they continue to try to best them. It's like, you can't, you can't do that. That's why you're failing. You know, like you need to, you need to set realistic standards and then go a little bit further. And then they set all of these expectations on how fast they have to come out. Yeah. How, you know, how they have to be delivered. 
and they even taking good developers, good, you know, movie producers, actors, whatever, and they push them to the point where what we end up getting isn't good. Yeah. It's just it's also, trash. Fu- yeah. Also fucking with um, uh, corporate overlords sticking their hands in and fucking with the story and, you know, what the writer's doing and their directors. That's never ends up good. Yeah. I, okay. I can't say never because I've heard stories of, hey, this fucking Hollywood exec came down and said this one thing and then we ended up with the most amazing scene in fucking Jurassic Park. <laughs> right. But most of the time, the fucking cokeheads running Warner Brothers coming in and telling them how to fucking make the Superman movies, it doesn't end up well. <laughs> I mean, I, and what the fuck would they know? You know, it's like when Republicans yeah. are telling people how to have sex. What the fuck would you know? <laughs> you know, like, like really? Or when they cut, when these old white dudes Mission come it. down and tell women they can't, what they can and can't do with their body. How the fuck yeah. would you know? Get out of here. Get the fuck out of here. This is, this, Donnie, you're out of your element. Shut the fuck up and sit down. <laughs> you element, Donnie. <laughs> like, seriously, man. Uh, fuck off. And if anyone's ever wondering. Doubles. If, if anyone's ever position wondering, for procreation, oh my. <laughs> if anyone's ever wondering if we write these, I no, everything is off the cuff. I, 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 think, they, I think they know. <laughs> <laughs> like if you haven't figured that out yet, if there's anyone who do you start, do you write your jokes? No, I, I come up with I all the shit on the fly. I, I come up with all <laughs> the shit on the fly. I, I don't write anything down except for some topics that I might want to touch on that week. I, I just, I, I get on this. I, and whether we're in our studio or as we are right now in our individual rooms recording over the internet, um, I just sit there and I, I word vomit. I, that's it. Yeah. It's word vomit. It's the only way to get through. I'm too, I'm too lazy to write shit. Yeah, no, Probably I mean, should. <laughs> I mean, I could totally write stuff, yeah, but like, better. I could um, totally write somebody things. who's like an actual legitimate comedy writer be like, yeah, it shows. <laughs> yeah, no, for sure. Um, no, it's like, uh, like I, I could sit there. I could totally sit there. And I could write up a script and I could just, oh, yeah, let's do this. Um, the one thing I will admit to doing, though, is sometimes I will, uh, if I don't, if I'm not completely off the cuff, there are sometimes things where I will talk to myself out loud, like in my room alone, to make sure that what I'm saying sounds fine. And that will be in the days, pardon me, leading up to the podcast, if there's a topic that I want to talk about. Um, mm-hmm. but most of the time it's like, all right, here's like five things. You got five things. Let's fucking go in on this. Yeah. Anyway, is there anything else that you had Luke? Cause honestly, I, I only had two things this week cause I did not come prepared. We almost, I, I almost forgot about it until I was going down the, uh, our gamer news, uh, yeah. subreddit. Um, there's like the biggest news of the week we almost missed fucking pokemon sword and shield has been announced and shown off i i oh oh right um it's not that we <laughs> missed it um I, I don't know how i feel about it to be honest with you um on the one hand it's like okay this might be yeah. the big home console uh pokemon game i've always wanted um i, I don't know i wasn't super impressed by the reveal but maybe it's just because i'm just a jaded piece of shit i don't know mm-hmm. but I, I do want it don't get me wrong. I do I do really, 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 really want it because, like yeah. I said, I've wanted it for years, but it's not the game I've wanted. But I'll have to – I'm, I'm going to try to reserve judgment for it. Um, there were some things that people were, uh, were bringing up like in the analysis afterwards, and I don't remember mm. their names because they were random YouTube videos suggested to me by YouTube that for some reason I decided to watch. Um, they were, I they, avoided that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I don't know. I'm, I'm – I was sitting there. It was like 7.30 at night. I'm in my underwear in my living room or in my kitchen rather, you know, making food or whatnot. So it was just whatever. Okay, YouTube, that's a cool video. I'll watch that. Um, Mm -hmm. But uh, we're sitting there totally looking at that. One of the things that they pointed out, and I could see this uh, being being a real issue, um, uh, I could see that uh, it being like maybe too linear. you know, too too uh, too linear because of like the shape of the island that they're on. Because it's literally just. I did. It's like it's like like the line it, thing in um in fucking uh, Tetris, the line block, the four the four tetramino line block. Um, yeah, it's like that's. It's like a straight path up. Yeah, and it like, was a little odd that they have done that. It makes me wonder if possibly um, there's different, obviously different areas, just like we. Are. 
different towns, if that is then going to open up into, uh, uh, for lack of a better term, like its own open world. Uh, and, you know, you would go from one area to the next where you have the roads or whatever pathways between the towns. Right. But the whole area is open, which if that's the case, that's pretty interesting to me. I kind of like that. Right. That sounds but cool. But I don't know. I don't know, man. Yeah. It um, did. It did. The, the overworld map did strike me as a bit odd when you look at it that way. Yeah. So hopefully it's something um, where you're not just heading in a straight line up the whole time. <laughs> yeah. That would be, that would, that would just be kind of sort of hugely disappointing. Like if it's just, oh yeah. yeah, you just, you walk from one end to the other. It's, it's, and you fight shit along the way. Like, I don't know. I, I liked the, I liked kind of the layout of past games where there was a land that was shaped like an island and not a tetramino. Yeah. And you just, you went, oh, you could go east or west and this northeast now southwest but in this uh you you have north and south like yeah, that's it's just a, it's i mean if that's the way the island is set up then i guess fine um it's just it, it doesn't have it, it's obviously unless there are spots that are broken up it doesn't have a lot of area for um swimming unless you go around it too <laughs> you, and go out, you go out and swim out of the ocean which i mean there is yeah. i mean obviously there, there's been a part of most of the games at least where you did go out onto the ocean of course like yeah in the original uh in the original game of course you know you went out onto the seafoam islands and stuff and yeah. uh yeah i mean that was that was a thing that happened i gotta turn my fucking phone's notifications off for a while <laughs> yeah because people are messaging me and emailing me it's like texting me like stop i'm doing things that I enjoy doing. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I want to wait. I want to see, I want to reserve judgment a little bit. Um, yeah. I didn't actually get to see the, the, the seven minute or so direct that they got. Um, uh, but I watched some reaction videos. I watched some, I watched the, uh, the two minute and some odd minute trailer, odd second trailer rather that they dropped, which looked kind of cool. I don't care for the starters really. You know, the start, I wasn't, I was kind of in the same boat. I've honestly, this is very similar to, um, the, uh, Fire Emblem. When we talked about that, the Fire yeah. Emblem three kingdoms or three heroes or whatever. Three, three um, kingdoms. yeah, I'm very much like inclined to give this the benefit of the doubt. Like I said, same situation. This is what I've, I will always wanted a major, like a console release Pokemon game, right? Full 3d big adventure on a console. Yeah. And so I'm already yeah, yeah. I'm inclined to, you know, I, I, everything I saw. The Nintendo, the Nintendo Direct showed very, very little um, and talked about very little. I think the one main thing they showed that uh, it will make a lot of people that hated Let's Go Happy is they definitely show the trainer walking through grass, actually sneaking through grass, which I guess they added in some of the later games. Uh, yeah, um, there, there were. I think that was uh, there. There was a generation where you could sneak through the grass. Yeah. yeah. In fact, I, I fuck. I probably even played it because I, I do remember that being a thing. But I, dude, I don't Couldn't know. Couldn't tell you which one. Yeah. No, but yeah, they show the trainer going through grass and encountering a random battle. They show the trainer walking in front of another trainer. The, you know, the, so they brought back obviously what we expect out of a hardline Pokemon game. So everyone who was pissed off from Let's Go can fucking shove the stick further up their ass or pull it out who cares i mean as uh, somebody who who started on the original games um yeah blue yellow uh blue and yellow mostly and I, I don't think i had red um mm. like I, I don't know maybe it's just me but i liked the way let's go did the random encounters because they weren't random i hate random encounters yeah i, I would much prefer to see them i'm um, a little sad going back to this way of doing it i yeah. would rather see the pokemon around so i can choose to initiate that uh it's uh, like i've said before and why i'm not a huge jrpg fan in the first place right i don't like random encounters uh i don't even like that kind of encounter system period but if i have to have it i want to see the stuff so it yeah. doesn't feel like every two steps i'm being delayed yeah and i, I, I just want to go here and oh god you know, I, I think that's why i think that's why, I think that's why oh. yeah I think that's why for me, like even though I do like those kind of games, I love JRPGs like that. I yeah. absolutely love Earthbound because Earthbound, you see the enemies on the overworld before you encounter them. And yep. if you maneuver yourself right or if you're lucky enough, you can choose to not engage with them. Um, and I mean, there's, there's like a grind in one of the later dungeons, and I don't want to spoil it in case – anyone's not played this almost 30 what almost 25 year old game um 
there's a point where you can you can uh, grind against these uh, Starman robot things that uh, drop a weapon, and it's the only weapon in the game for one of your four characters. While that character can equip other weapons like yo-yos and shit, because anyone can equip those, they actually make him weaker. This is the only one that makes him stronger. Um, if you can grind, and if you just kind of creep onto the screen, like just in the frame, and it doesn't have what you want, you can creep back and then go back and, and, and go back and forth, and just keep doing that until the enemy you want to fight spawns. I, I kind of like that because that helps a lot with grinding for stuff like that, you know, because it, mm -hmm. it can cut it down from be, being several hours to, oh, that's the enemy I want to fight. That's the thing I want to get from. I, I hate having to, to run and go through random encounters just to find that one enemy that has the thing I want. And then there's only like, oh, you have a one in 2048 chance of the enemy dropping it. So not only do I have this really low chance of encountering it, I also have an even lower chance of it dropping it because of the encounter rate. Fuck you guys, you know? Like, I hate always that shit. It's why I won't play MMOs. Same fucking thing. Yeah. Especially yeah. when that's tied into a goddamn quest. What you don't want to? You don't want to? You don't want to grind and kill a thousand chocobos for just one red feather? Come on, exactly. man! Exactly. Fuck that shit. Yeah, right. Like it's so um, dumb. But I, I mean, but that that was a part of games back then because that was used to stretch out uh, playtime, so you right. get more value out of your game. Right. We don't need to do that now. You can fucking stretch out the game through actually having more game. Right. But uh, I don't well, know. I mean, I, I'm, it depends on who you're. Going, if you're buying a game from EA, you, you're not you're yes, not getting a yes. goddamn thing for your money. It's <laughs> not until you. Oh, oh, actually, that Anthems. does bring me to another topic. Grind. That does bring me to another topic. Um, something yeah. I saw in the gym Inquisition, I think either last night or the night before. Um, because he talked about it, and of course he's going to do a video on it because that's what he fucking does. Thank God for uh -huh. Jim Sterling. Um, Dead or Alive, the new Dead or Alive game. Oh um, my God, yeah, yeah. Before um, we talked about that though, before we get to that, yes. um Pokemon the the new one you mentioned the starters um yeah I pretty much agree but I'll be completely honest I didn't expect to like the starters because I haven't really liked them and I've said this before since the generation that had Toto Dial Cyndaquil and uh Gen whatever two. the fuck Gen two, yeah. yeah since Gen 2 I've thought the starters were all pretty terrible and I love that everyone right now is like please for the love of God don't let the fire bunny end up being a fighting type we're so sick of fire fighting type I mean, it's been set. What I, I, I let's see. Um, what I think three or four generations have been fired or fighting, firefighting. Yeah. And I, I think until X and Y, I think it was sixth gen, it had a fire psychic, so it was a little bit different. And I was like, oh man, that's amazing. I, I'm with them. I don't want that bunny to be a firefighting type. Make it something really fucking weird. Make it a fire, fire steel. water type. <laughs> Yeah, fire steel, fire water. Well, they have a, they have a fire steel. It's Heatran. It's a legendary Pokemon. But yeah, make a fire water type. Make two. Make a fire electric type. Make it you know fire grass type. I don't fucking care. Do not make it firefighting. Seriously, come on. I get it. That's a cool concept, but we it's done. It's over with. Let's do yeah. something else. You got the Luchador. You got the Luchador cat. You, you yeah, don't need any more cat. We that, had that, the monkey. You got we the Luchador had the cat. Bird, can't, bird thing. Yeah, it's done. Please stop what doing this. Was the this. pig? Wasn't the pig firefighting too? Probably. I do. I, I don't <laughs> fucking Probably. know. I don't know. I don't but care. Yeah, no, it doesn't need to be firefighting. Uh, other than that, like I, the little, um, the 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 lizard, water lizard turning invisible is gobble interesting to me. Or gobble rubble. I don't know. I should know Whatever. these names. I should probably look this up. Uh. I'm not gonna memorize the names yet. I just know uh, the other funny thing about it is there's already an ungodly amount of porn drawn of the I, fucking rabbit. Okay, here's how I'm going to do it. Here's how I'm going to choose my starter. Whichever yeah. uh, whichever starter has the best porn, that's the one I'm going to go with. <laughs> so when that game the comes out, artist, get when, ready. That game, when that game comes out in like six months, listen up, furry artist. Y'all got this chance. You get to choose what legendary, what, what starter I go with by, based on the best Rule 34 image I find. I mean, just by amount alone right now, the rabbit has insanely. Oh, I know. It's, it's it's like, why the rabbit, though, of all fucking things, you know? like I guess it just, for the more furry, but I don't even remember. What is the, it's monkey. Uh, monkey might be too more, too close to human for him. So they don't want to make, I don't know. I've never, I mean, I've never okay. thought about that. I'm going to be honest with you. When you have like, you know, like uh, the hentai girls with like the bunny girls, 
I don't yeah. mind that, you know. The but bunnies, it's like, yeah. There's probably going to be a lot of that. I mean, you go back to Sovel. Lola Bunny. Sovel is the water type. Yes, Lola yeah. Bunny had a sexual awakening, I think, in a lot of, of young people back then. <laughs> huh, this better not awaken anything. Oh, too late. <laughs> uh, oh, yep, yep. Bop. Score Bunny, though. Yeah. I, I just... Oh yeah, you had you had you had Torchic, which evolved into a firefighting type. You had that's uh, yeah, I mentioned that um, the bird one. Um, I can't think of his name, but it verbs in the fern ape, uh, Chimchar. That was a firefighting type. Um, I'm trying to think of the names rather than you just calling oh. them the animals. Chimchar. Then, See, uh, I do that with Pokemon, like, and that's the funny thing with me and Pokemon. I've been so I've been out of Pokemon since the second generation, with the exception of now playing Pokemon Go again, uh, where. I don't know the names of a, like most Pokemon beyond second gen. Yeah. So I just have nicknames for them. Shit, I call them. And there's a lot of times where you and I'll be playing the game and I'll be like, hey, look, it's the uh, the big boar fuck thing. And you're like, what? And I'm like, the one, the boar. And you're oh, the fucking swine up. Yeah. yeah. All right. You catch that. And I'll be like, oh, there's a, a fucking Aaron. <laughs> <laughs> Where's just the steel and steel and rock dog type doggy. Yeah. Steel and rock doggy. Um, there's the pupper there's the demon pupper <laughs> yeah the town doom <laughs> hound tower yeah um all right so yeah let, let's all right, we, i think we talked about enough about pokemon because i want to yeah. i want to be pissed I, off I'm for excited. a little while about the uh the koei tecmo koei tecmo does there a lot right like uh um, oh my god yeah um, i just I, it doesn't uh, surprise me at all it's like fuck them like, like you got you got like different editions of course you got the the obviously standard edition, sixty dollars mm-hmm. or euros or whatever your local currency is, um, and then of course you've got um, the digital deluxe edition, deluxe. and then you've got like an even higher edition of that. Um, and it's like it's like what sixty dollars, eighty dollars, and like ninety dollars and some change, ninety two dollars and some change or something like that. Um, yeah. Except there's a season pass, and that season pass is a hundred dollars, and is not included. In those gold and deluxe versions, yeah. which typically, at least in the gold, when it's like eighty dollars, that includes a season pass. Yep. Apparently, yep. this time it fucking doesn't. Yeah. Um, if you purchase a seventy nine ninety nine dollar, dollar deluxe digital edition, you get you can add phase four to your roster. But it's like, uh, yeah. It's so uh, I'm sorry. The the season pass is actually ninety three dollars. I got some prices mixed up there. So ninety three ninety fucking dollars dollars for season pass. Not not the season pass, mind the you. First season pass one. Season pass one I, is there's going, going to, to be, be more. There's going to be more, and it's ninety two ninety nine. And you know what it does? You guys want to know what it does? I'm going to read it to you straight from the Microsoft store. This season pass will apply to 62 costumes and two new characters released during the period of March 2009 to June 2019. So 19, not nine. Um, two fucking characters. You get characters and costumes for $93. Two. And you know what? I, I give a lot of shit. I give a lot of shit to um, Nether Realms and WB. I, I hate fighting games nowadays, period. I'll just get that out there. I'm not... I'm already not good at them, but the way they monetize uh, character packs and shit like that is fucking garbage. Fuck you. All right. So that is the dumbest shit in the world. However, at least with other fighting games like um, the Dragon Ball Z one, I can't even fucking think of the name. Oh, Um, um, Fighter Z. Fighter Z and your um, Mortal Kombat and those other ones. When you bought the, um, the DC fighting game, when you bought that season pass, you usually got like seven or eight characters. That would right. come out over time. Or right. like five to eight. Who knows? This is two fucking characters. Yeah. Two characters. And hold up. Hold up. Here's what you get, though. You get Happy Wedding costume, Happy Wedding Costumes Volume 1, which is 13 costumes. Happy Wedding Costumes I'm Volume 2, which well. is 13 costumes. Costume Pack Volume 1, which is 13 costumes. Costume Pack Volume 2, which is also 13 costumes. You get the additional character, my Shirai Nui. I... I don't care. I'm not even going to try to do it. Um, yeah. And then five costumes for her. And then you get an additional new character and five costumes for them. And it doesn't even tell you what the fucking new character is. Nope. Um, DOA oh, has... Oh, hold up, hold up, hold up. Uh, there's there's more. Yeah. Downloadable content not included in the list above may be released during the same period, but it will not be covered by this season past yeah. one. Supposedly there's going to be all the other costumes and things released. Um. So, DLA. so season season passes are supposed to be all the all the, all the DLC during that period. 
Typically. <laughs> not this time. Not with this. You'll pay $93, and you're not even going to get everything they'll release during that time frame. DOA has always been a game that, like, it's a fighting game that, you know, people, serious fighting game fans can get a, a get a, you know, get their teeth sunk into. But it's also essentially been... Um, softcore porn? TNA. Yeah, softcore porn. Fan service. And it's, it seems almost like, my guess is with this is they're they're going all out on that of here we're going to show you tits and all these other different costumes tits and ass and this is where we're gonna fucking make our money it's it's almost like that's what they're going for for this they're just finally admitting that here here's what you're here for and we're gonna fucking charge you for it all the um, tna yeah it it's uh it's it's just like dude you could seriously 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 just take that money and buy yourself a porn subscription like i don't know why you wouldn't just do that just just buy a porn subscription and you'll save your... get any like there's oh, it's just so fucking stupid it's it's amazing though it's, I, I i don't get it I, like like dude just just buy porn just buy porn yeah, at this if that's point that's what you're here for yeah if you're here for the tna please just buy porn that 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 will be one of those situations where i will go Okay, you can buy porn now, and I won't make fun of you for it, but I will make fun of you for, for choosing this as your... What, what is wrong with you, man? I, I don't 90 know. 90 fucking dollars for a season goddamn pass. Mm -hmm. Two characters. Even the fucking one of the suggested more like this games underneath that is Seed of the Dead, which is a first-person shooter, apparently anime porn game. <laughs> <laughs> well, of course it is, because you gotta you gotta sperminate all the all the zombies. You gotta come on them, or what? Apparently. <laughs> oh God. This, oh man, I don't. Brain hurt. <laughs> Brain just hurt. That that's what. It, okay, I I just I, I I'm out of juice like that. Yeah. I'm outraged. I'm angry. I want to go punch a baby or something. I don't know. Uh, anyone <laughs> got a baby for me to punch? <laughs> I I don't understand <laughs> it. I just don't understand it. Why? Why? Tits and ass. Ninety three dollars. <laughs> killing fest. Killing fly. Leave it off with this. Killing floor two. Left for dead. And Silent Hill had an anime baby. Plus, you have sex with girls. Too bad the shooting feels like hot farts. Not recommended. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, all of that sounded good until you got to that last part. It's like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> shooting hot farts sounds uh, not so fun. But there you go. If you if you really want to play a game, maybe we should start doing reviews of really bad Steam porn games. You know what? I think we should, because um, that kind of ties into one thing I've always wanted to do, um, and and I, I'm pretty sure I've talked about this before, but I've always wanted mm -hmm. to uh, stream like Twitch banned games, Chatterbait, or some similar site. Because <laughs> I, I don't know why, like I I just want to do this. Like this is something oh. I've thought about doing, and it would I be looked, even better with a team. <laughs> I looked up because um, I've seen clips and things from different um, like pornographic games on. They'll show up sometimes if I'm browsing Pornhub or something like that. Right. And I looked, and apparently people have kind of done that. And I don't know if they're uploading gameplay necessarily, or they're just o uploading the clips from the games. But you see that on Pornhub. Oh, so, yeah, I mean, yeah, for sure. There's a possibility that you could just do Let's Plays and upload them to Pornhub the way you would do a Let's Play on YouTube. YouTube and Twitch, <laughs> yeah. Like, I, I, I'm, dude, if you wanted to start doing this, uh, we, 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 we would need to nail down a schedule. I would yeah. be a hundred fucking percent for it. I will. I will go sign up for a Chatterbait account right this second. Get my stream key and start setting that shit up. That would be funny. And we need to set up, a, you know, an ungodly geeks Chatterbait account, an ungodly geeks Pornhub <laughs> account, and start uploading that shit, man. Yes. I wonder. I, I maybe maybe I'll send an email uh, and see because I mean Pornhub does have they, people upload everything to Pornhub, but I wonder if there's oh, yeah. like you know what I watch on Pornhub. Content. I actually, yes, there is. There's comedy porn. Um, yeah. But I actually, um, one of the things I did just because I fucking could, because someone uploaded it. Someone uploaded the Dragon Ball Z Broly movie, and I sat there and watched it. The, the Dragon yeah. Ball Super Broly movie. Even though I'd already seen it, I sat there and watched it again on Pornhub. Like, fuck it. Why not? I'm, I, I came here to jerk off, but hey, you know what? I'll watch Broly beat the shit out of Frieza for a few moments before I get yeah. back to this. You know, like. I mean, I've seen, I've seen Let's Players post videos on youtube obviously they're edited but where they're playing games like that uh whatever that one bejeweled kind of clone was that was popular uh uh honey honey boo boo honey, honey pop? pop honey, honey pop yeah honey pop. like um they, they they've done that on youtube and edited so i mean 
I, I think it'd be fucking great to have a channel on Pornhub where you posted unedited Let's Plays of these games. Yeah, I don't. I, I would do funny. that, dude. I would totally do that. Like, just just fucking do it. All right, guys, we're gonna go ahead and wind it down there though before we go yeah. off on a tangent about something else that's kind of dumb. Um, because we're really good at that. Uh, so yeah. you know, if you liked hearing this, you liked our our stupid voices with our stupid word vomit. Uh, you know, go to our website on godlygeeks.com. You can find, you know, ways to support us, ways to help us out. You can find ways to get the podcast, you know, on YouTube or on a couple other places. Tune in radio we're on, but I don't have the tune in radio uh, thing on there anymore because malware bites detected it as uh, malware, which is <laughs> not cool. <laughs> yeah, um, not a good thing. Not a good thing at all. I'm like, no, I don't want anything to do with that. Uh, I definitely don't want to be potentially spreading malware to our users, so that's that's not something that's that I'm gonna do. Um, you can always go over to Patreon, give us a, give us a buck a month or whatever, get your name in our credits, uh, some other stuff maybe. You know, I'm looking to maybe expand our Patreon awards. Go follow us on Twitter, twitter.com/ungodlygeeks. Uh, I do. I'm gonna start doing a bi-weekly giveaways of games because why the fuck not? Mm-hmm. I got a bunch of game keys lying around for people to redeem and play games. So uh, go ahead and check that out. Um, I'll probably do the next giveaway. Um, I want to say I'll probably start it on the 15th, and maybe I don't know. I'm really lazy sometimes, so I might forget. But uh, anyway, for the Ungodly Geeks, I was Joe. I was Luke. You guys have a good day. See ya. Fuck Koei Tecmo. (laughs) 